pandas to CSV. So now that you've done your data analysis, you've done your transformations, and you have your beautiful data set, well, what you need to do is you need to save it to your computer. And the way you're going to do that is with dot to CSV. And this comes straight from pandas, and so let's explore it. First thing that we'll do is we'll import pandas as PD. Great. And then I'm going to create a sample data frame. This data frame is just going to be a list of restaurants in San Francisco. I'll have three columns, name, number of customers, and average bill. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save my data frame to file exactly where my Python script is running. So where this Jupyter Notebook is running, I'm going to call .2CSV, and this is going to save it in that exact same location, meaning in the same folder. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to call df.2csv, and then I'm going to specify a file name. So this is the new file's uh, name that I want to create. And I'm going to set index equals false. Now, if you don't set index equals false, then your index is going to get saved with your data. And I would say 99% of the time, I don't want to do that. So I always set index equals false. I'll go ahead and run this. And you can see here that I've run it because it says complete right here, but nothing's happened. That's because nothing gets returned to you. But what I can do to make sure that the file was saved is I'm going to call a dot from CSV. Uh, I'm sorry, a dot read CSV. And so here I'm just going to store it inside of a variable. I'll call pandas.readCSV and then my new file.readCSV and go from there. And here it is. And so here is me reading my file from that folder location. Now, let's say, for example, that I want to save my data frame in a different location other than where my Jupyter Notebook is being run. Well, in order to do that, I can just specify a path. Now, in this case, I'm going to start it off with dot dot, which means go up a folder and go to the parent folder. I'm going to say then go to the data folder and then I'm going to say, hey, then I want you to save it as a new file dot CSV. And again, index equals false. I'll run this. It says there's no file name. That is wonderful. I think it's because I was in a different folder. Let me try this. Beautiful. So in this location, I didn't need to go up a folder. I just needed to call straight from data. Now, what I can do to make sure that this ran and make sure that I was in the data folder is just call dot read CSV again. I'll say, hey, go look in the data folder and pull out my new file dot CSV. And we'll see what we have here. And perfect. There we go. So the next thing that I'll do is let's explore some of these parameters a little bit. Now, the two that I'm going to look at are going to be column and header. So columns, um, this will you can specify a subset of columns to save to your data frame. So say your data frame has 50 columns, but you only want to do you only only want to save three of them. Well, you can specify those three here. And in this case, I'm saying, hey, I want to save the name and I want to save the average bill. Now, header, that's going to actually rename your columns for you. So I'm going to rename my columns to new name and new bill. Go ahead and run this. Great, it looks like it completed. And then I will uh, go ahead and read this with dot read uh, CSV again. And you can see here that I've read the file. I have two columns only and they've both been renamed. Okay. Now the final thing that we'll look at is when you don't specify a column name. Now I never do this, but if we were to just do dot uh, to CSV by default, what happens is pandas is gonna return a string to us. So you can see we actually just get a string here and this string is comma delimited or its values are separated by commas or simply it's a CSV, comma separated values. And that is pandas.2csv.